So my name is Davis London. I'm a PhD student down at the Marine Biological Association of the UK in Plymouth and also um, at the University of East Anglia in Norwich. And my interest is uh, focused on how chytrid fungi, which are a very underlooked form of, of fungus, uh, contribute to environmental processes. Chytrids are um, quite notable at the moment because they are the causative agent of this mass amphibian die-off that has made a lot of headlines in the news. Um, however, they're, they're not just the bad guys, they're also really important in the environment for things like breaking down tough organic matter. Um, and there's also some evidence that they can form mutualistic and other parasitic interactions with, with other species. So my research focuses on um, taking these groups of fungi that have otherwise been overlooked historically, um, but we know are important in the environment from big DNA surveys, bringing them into the lab and finding out how they actually function on a cell biology level. As well as being really um, important in the environment, chytrids are also one of the most early branching groups of fungi, um, and it's thought that they actually retain quite a lot of ancestral characteristics of the last common ancestor of all the true fungi. Um, so by studying their cell biology, it proves uh, to be a really good model to understand how the last common ancestor of the fungi might have looked and behaved. I chose this area of research because it's so understudied. So um, while it's really um, convenient to work with um, organisms that have been well characterized and we, we have a lot of problems because we don't work on those organisms in terms of the toolkit available to us. There's so much more freedom with the organisms that are, are less well characterized and so by working on these groups of fungi um, pretty much everything we discover is new and that's, that's a really cool area to be in. My favorite thing about my research is the ability to um, explore such an understudied system. So because kitchens have been overlooked for so long on a cell biology level, there's a, not, a, lot, a lot of new ground to uh, cover, and it allows us to adapt novel tools from other areas. So for example, by using um, the tracing of neurons that is well known in the medical field and applying them to the filamentous structures of kitchens to seeing how they function.